So I had uh, stopped because uh, of some uh, interruption which happened, uh, which happened. So I am continuing this video of Rahu so that uh, you know students please uh, patch it up with the earlier video of Rahu. Rahu that is we will put it as Rahu dash 1 and this is Rahu dash 2. So um, I was in the um, you know telling you the instance wherein Rahu is like a smoke, a dense smoke which suddenly passes and comes in front of you and you will not be able to go ahead in the same speed and in the same clarity. That means people who are having some dashas like Saturn Rahu, Jupiter Rahu, Rahu Mercury or Rahu Saturn, reverse is also applicable, have to show patience, caution and simply keep quiet. Sometimes don't do know anything. People cannot keep quiet. This is a very big problem my clients also face and I keep telling them that please don't do anything. Don't do investments in this particular time. Don't unnecessarily go and you know out of the way try to do something in your life and uh, finally get stuck there and then come back to me or any other astrologer and ask sir I've got stuck. My so much money I just put there. No it was so lucrative. All these sudden lucrative businesses will give a big shock, you know, jolt. So Rahu can give you very good ideas. People can suddenly come into your life, you know. Strangers can become family members. Very dangerous. So Rahu also shows other, you know, out of the religion marriages or unconventional marriages if it is, uh, you know, placed in certain houses. So... The desires, Rahu gives a lot of desires and because of these desires a human being will stretch and he can stretch to one particular point of earning and after that he will try all other means to get what he wants. To the all other means are all unethical means or dangerous means like bribe, you know, taking extra X, Y, Z. So he might get caught. So Rahu also is allegations, suspension, inquiry, pending, all these things come under Rahu. So in some cases, false allegations, humiliation also happens and that has to be understood by seeing the chart. These things we cannot do at now at this time uh, as my class progresses. And if people are having patience to go through each class at peace and slowly try to understand, then all your questions of complex questions of retrogression, uh, Rahu with other combinations like Saturn, Mercury or uh, Saturn in this house, what will happen if Saturn and Venus in that house, what will happen? All that will be solved as and when I will be teaching slowly. Let us not jump into, you know, conclusions and bigger uh, astrological uh, teachings now. Let us wait and go slow. So, usurping others' possessions. Paradhana, like wanting something which is not yours. This is greed and jealousy, everything put together. It's a very dangerous thing. So, they become obsessive, abusive, indulgent, and also they they become sometimes go to levels where they start harassing people okay so they the rahu represents engineers electrical and mechanical engineering all core subjects of engineering even the civil engineering comes under rahu where actually they have to go to harsh and tough uh, places to work you know, people going through market, going on, uh, you know, continuous travel, marketing, taking orders, executing them, these things come under Rahu. And uh, they own big industries, and uh, like tough, uh, tough industries, like the tanning industry, you know, leather tanning industry. Uh, we have a lot of leather tanning industry in the northern uh, India, in UP and other places. So that's a tough industry to work at also. So salt industry, one another very tough industry. To work, refineries, smelting, waste recycling, ship breaking, blacksmiths, you know, blacksmith, not all blacksmiths, the bigger ones, 
uh, who are going to go in industrial level. So sh- shoe making, you know, <coughs> this also comes under Rahu. Liquor marketing, adult, uh, you know, adulterations, you know, making uh, uh, three is equal to four. That doesn't happen. You know, three quarters is equal to one. If you are trying to do that, that means you are adding something which is not that. So making something pure, impure is adulteration and you can see adulteration everywhere nowadays. Getting a pure material like, uh, you know, some raw material or cooking material is so difficult nowadays. You f- you see adulteration and like putting artificial colors, uh, mixing artificial sweeteners, uh, taste enhancers, emulsifiers, X, Y, Z, all that can cause cancer. We all know that, but we cannot stop ourselves from going there and buying those packed food, you know, without even reading their contents and we are ready to eat them. So all that is Rahu behavior. You do Rahu behavior, you suffer from Rahu diseases. You do good behavior, you suffer from less diseases. Simple. So, so um, Rahu also represents insanity, irrational behavior, neurological dysfunctions. So many big things Rahu represents. Rahu is a big planet. That's why I think it cut off in the middle and it made me do two videos. So, gaudy in color, animalistic. They do not have that humanistic behavior, animalistic behavior. Loss of logic. Logic dies there. You know, and uh, hard working but they are. They do whatever they are doing, they do it to the best. So, it also represents non-veg cuisine. All that cuisine which you can't make out what they have put inside. Most of the cuisine, uh, um, there are some, uh, you know, um, uh, oriental cuisines where you will not even understand what is there inside the food. <laughs> they have to be careful there. For them, even crickets are vegetarians food. So we have to be careful when we go to the orients to eat. So, uh, loud. They are very loud, blind in faith. This is one thing which is very dangerous. This is what causes them to believe somebody fully and become terrorists. So they have blind faith. The other way around also is dangerous that you believe something and you start going against the other religion. Inside India it happens. So that is also blind faith and it is represented by Rahu. Superstitious beliefs, taboos, social taboos, social superstition. This is also coming under Rahu, which is also one of the most dangerous things. Superstition has come down to one particular level, but it is not fully eradicated. We need to eradicate it. So the Devata or uh, in Hindu mythology, Rahu represents Vana Durga. When Shukra represents Durga, uh, Rahu represents Vana Durga. So I will tell you the representations of other planets also. This doesn't play a very important role. Because people unnecessarily are taking this and going in for, you know, religious uh, uh, remedial measures, traditional religious, which I am a little, uh, you know, skeptical about. And we'll talk about that later when we come to all other things like that. Hatha Yoga. Hatha Yoga, uh, in the sense that not, not every planet can do Hatha Yoga. Ketu, Rahu, only these people can do Hatha Yoga. Ketu can do nirvana, going into vipassana, totally avoiding food to a certain level and going into hatha yoga. But Rahu can become aghora, going into too much of indulgence, going into everything, you know, rudra rupa. This is shiva rupa, that is rudra rupa, that is what we call in the Hindu mythological levels. So this is hatha yoga with regard to agorism. Okay, so these people sometimes become pessimistic and sad it, sadist. So sadist is a very dangerous person for the society and they can do anything. You know, many criminal activities, you know, even uh, the chain murders or uh, people who con- continuously keep committing offenses come under Rahu. So I am telling too many bad things, right? But a good thing about Rahu also, I have told that they are industrious, oriented, they when they give charity they don't even see whom they are giving they will pour money like 
like anything because they get money a lot of money so just they give money like anything so these people it is good to work under these people though they are very rude they will take care of your whole family they are very good bosses except their behavior is extremely rude so that happens so a very nice boss may not give you a single rupee hike you can decide now so bad dreams traps sorry sleeplessness tremors eczema skin diseases i am telling you now leprosy cancer herpes herpes what we call as herpes otto a herpes which is a viral disease psoriasis once again another disease which in which scales of the skin starts peeling away all these diseases 90% of them are because of immunodeficiency other immunodeficiency are aids you know or hiv hiv is one of the immunodeficiencies barber's itch which is also because of a worm and uh, fungal infections um, the disfiguration of the face or the body like i told you uh, polio or any disfiguration because of malnutrition or because of so many other things like congenital heart disease like uh, having only one kidney when you are born people don't know this i have one of my students who has only one kidney he also did not know that by chance he had gone for an endoscopy and because the endoscopy did not work well they told okay we'll do a ct scan and see what's wrong there so they saw that there is no one kidney at all is not there so the space is there you know the body is normal he is a extremely uh, nice uh, tall looking bodybuilder he doesn't have a see he has only one kidney so these things what we call as uh, um, disabilities both organ level and also body level you know having an extra finger like rithik roshan has an extra finger all these are rahu characteristics it's not that it is bad or good it is rahu that's it so uh, many people have extra fingers i have seen people with six fingers even seven fingers in a hand so uh, lips which clover lips what we call as the cleft lip you have a, a cut off lip and you have disarranged teeth which requires you know uh, plastic surgery here the plastic surgery is for putting things in the right place you know it's a repair not the other plastic surgery which again is represented by rahu which is to unnecessarily enhance your bodily features which are not required so uh, tooth decay cataract glaucoma so many things i can simply keep going ahead uh, with gangrene you know all this comes under rahu how to get out of it live a simple satvik life now many of my uh, uh, students and my clients keep asking me what is satvik life this itself has to be explained i don't know i don't know i don't know this that the, the era is such that we have to expect uh, explain what is satvik okay i'll explain so people have asked this that's why i'm explaining this so and this is a very good moment to explain because rahu is pure uh, it is impurity and satvik living is purity being simple it's not being miser being simple eating good diet that doesn't mean that you are eating less nutrition you are eating good nutrition but a good diet small meals in short intervals not gluttony eating a lot no gluttony is rahu eat small meals you know have a cup fill the cup keep eating five times a day but don't eat at a time so that is satvik being good at you giving your stomach some space and some you know time to settle down not always loading it you no know, continuously with all junk you know all this uh, carbonated uh, drinks um, you know alcohol lot of oil food fried food all junk all you know too much of uh, hydrocarbons saturated fats all this you know dalda maida these things if it goes inside it is difficult they don't uh, come out with such ease they cause a lot of problem in the intestine they they actually get stuck to the intestine they become foul there and that is why we tell eat equally good fiber 
So eating sattvic food means your balanced diet, good fiber, good legumes, good pulses, good cereals, good greens, good uh, lentils, sprouts, fruits, all sorts of things mixed together. This is what is sattvic balanced diet. We don't eat this nowadays. We eat a lot of hydrocarbons. We eat a lot of uh, saturated oils. We eat trans fat. We eat chocolates which are not required. A single chocolate bar is around 300 to 500 calories. If you eat it blindfolded at one go, that means you have finished your lunch or dinner. Can you digest only one chocolate? Is it enough for you for the whole day? Or for the whole day, a person can, a normal average human being can live within 1300 calories to 2100 calories. Even an athlete who does a lot of jogging, running and everything will eat around 3000 calories. If you eat a chocolate before lunch, just imagine the obesity it causes. Rahu causes dirty obesity. It's not just Jupiter's obesity like looking plump and good. Rahu causes dirty obesity where you feel difficult to lose weight. Edema. The problem called as edema happens. Lipoedema. This happens in Rahu. So living a sattvic life is sleeping well at night. At the right time between 9.30 or 10 o'clock we have to go to bed. Go to bed. Don't use electronic gadgets. Less number of less electronic gadgets, less hours in electronic gadgets will prove your brain to, you know, your brain can sleep easily at night. Too much of computers, too much of phone, too much of WhatsApp and too much of phone calls is so dangerous that it doesn't let your brain, brain go to rest. So it you will have sleeplessness, insomnia. Insomnia is one of the dangerous diseases which will cause tertiary disease. This primary is insomnia. Secondary, you will have digestion problems. Tertiary, you will have loss of pancreas and loss of kidney. Who wants all this nonsense? You make sense, you put sense to your life, you will not have a nonsense life. You will have a sensible life. You put nonsense inside your body, you will have a nonsense life. It is like if input is junk, output is junk, your life is junk. If input is sattvic, your output is sattvic. You should choose it now. All Rahus who are listening today, please choose this between. So good sleep, you know, good sleep and good food will give you good excre excretionary practices. You are, you know, going to the loo will be easier. You will not spend too much of time there and you will not make faces when you are sitting in the loo. You will finish your loo within a minute and you will come out very clean, free. Your mind is free. You don't have too much to cry about. You will not have piles, you will not have rectum problem, no colonoscopy, no colon cancer, nothing. We eat junk, we will go through so many things. Just imagine the clogged pipe under the sink of your kitchen. You will understand that's what we don't eat. What, if, what is about, what all we eat? Just imagine this sanitary system, the piping inside our body. God bless. So please eat well, sleep well, exercise well. Every day you need to get up in the morning, go for your walk, do whatever. If you, I, I do my exercise. If people keep asking me what is my exercise, I take my cows for grazing. You know? Gas. <laughs> this is my exercise. I, I don't... I'm not joking. I, I don't, I, I'm serious. So when I stand one hour or half an hour or 40 minutes or even two hours someday and I'm happy when I see my cows all grazing grass, I'm, I'm happy and actually it is good. Please go and study articles when you feed animals and when you see animals feeding, particularly the herbivores, you know, I'm not seeing, I'm not, I'm not watching a hyenas tearing flesh and eating meat. No. I am watching my cows grazing grass and I feel happy, content and you get a good meditative thing because you are not thinking anything, you are not doing anything, I am not uh, watching my any, you know, whatsapp or nothing, no phones. So a good workout every day, gardening is the best to come out of Rahu. Just gazing at the sunrise for half an hour, early sunrise, that is just when the sun comes out of the horizon will solve your problems of Rahu. It will give you good, you know, cosmic vibrations into your body. So, please come out of Rahu and we will live like Jupiter's Venus and Sun and Moon. Thank you very much for today's date.
uh, today's uh, class. I hope I have covered a lot of uh, subjects pertaining to Rahul. Thank you.